nocturne number eight in D major is the last nocturne in this first book. It is one of the perhaps happiest of the nocturnes in book one. It's also in my favorite key, which is D major. I've always thought of D major as a rather bright, uh, optimistic, happier key. And uh, in this one, we have tempo marked moderato e gracioso. So it needs to sound graceful, elegant. Again, keep the rhythms moving forward. We have repeated notes in the left hand, which need to be, again, controlled and played much softer than in the right hand. Let me just start that opening for you to give you an idea of what I like for tempo. Then when we get down to measure nine, the melody repeats, but the left hand changes completely. It goes into broken chord patterns. And again, uh, these broken chords are very, what I call small hand friendly. So this makes it much easier, I think, for a, a pianist with smaller hands to play these broken chords very successfully and uh, in a relaxed manner. At the end, of page two, we have a poco ritardando, followed by a, a rather long fermata. So I want to make sure that we breathe, really take time, don't rush at all into that odd tempo at the end of measure 32. Let me just start measure 30. So we have. So this goes directly into the coda, starting at measure 41. I give you some what I call delicious surprises. And you'll hear some, again, surprise harmonies. We are in D major here. And then I go to uh, B flat and back to this chord and then going to this one. So we're not expecting any of those particular chords to come in after D major, but let me just play the, those last two lines for you. <laughs> 